What is up, everybody? What is up everybody, this is Barrack Chaz, and in today's video, I'm going to be adding a bunch of new parts to my 2017 GSXR 1000. If you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as share it with your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll check back with you guys at the end of the video. Peace. Would you look at that? Coincidentally, my quad lock is being delivered right now, or at least I hope so. It says that FedEx is going to be delivering it today. So, I know I look weird. Uh, I'm really just testing out these DJI mics. This is my first time using them in a video. Um, but I made the personal investment of buying like a tent thingy. Um, it's been pouring rain here every single day in Florida. Um, I'm genuinely thinking about moving out of Florida just for that because it's what I do for a living and I need to be able to work every day. So I, I just work or ride. Um, so basically I bought this big tent thingy from Walmart. It was like 170 bucks. Um, I'm going to open it up, put it over the driveway, and then pull the bike out, um, get a cold start of the bike for you guys, and then uh, install all my new parts. So guys, I have the canopy up now. I'm gonna move the camera back by my truck and then pull the bike out and get a cold start for you guys. So, here's the cold start. So here on the table, um, we have a Suzuki Genuine Double Bubble Windscreen. I've always loved the Double Bubble Windscreens. I don't like the ones that come stock on bikes because they're too short. And um, whenever you're racing or tucking, I just feel like it doesn't cover you. Um, there is a few things that are missing that I did order for the bike. Um, I'm missing a few carbon fiber pieces as well as the mirror block offs. It's just taken a very long time for them to come. Um, we have these Rock Mute Strata engine covers uh, i believe this is for the crank case that's for the clutch case and that's for the water pump um, we also did a arashi keyless gas cap um, and then we did these like cheap ebay um, sliders or rear spools so that you can put the bike up on a stand um, now the stands that i do use you don't need these but i guess it would just add a little bit of red to the bike because the bike's colors are black white red um, and gray, but uh, yeah, we're also going to do a chrome delete on the Suzuki emblem on the tank as well as take off the quad lock mount that I have on the top of the tank. Um, I do have a lot more things that I want to put on this bike, but um, yeah, let's get straight into it and we're going to start with the easiest thing first, the gas cap. You guys can see comes off with these few bolts and then it should just lift right out
Perfect. Now the next thing we're going to do is these little spool thingies. Ashley just got here. So the next thing we're going to do is take out these screws in the windscreen. Um, I don't know how to access the ones on the bottom. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take the screen off. Um, that's the only thing I'm not going to like about adding parts to this bike is taking that front windscreen off. And actually it looks like I don't have to because this one has like little... Well, the stock one has little like push things, rubber things for the rubber grommets for these screws. I don't like these screws at all. Um, reminds me of my S1000 having these weird hex head screws or whatever you call them. <coughs> Set these windscreen screws to the side. And these feel aluminum. I'm pretty sure they are. And just slides out. Take it out the side, it makes it much, much easier. But this is what the stock windscreen looks like. Uh, I gotta just take a little picture for Instagram. Hopefully these go on. Simple. So guys, that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and put it on. Again, it wouldn't be a day in Florida without rain. It is starting to rain. Um, I, I really hate trying to make videos in the rain, but I don't have a choice right now. I like the way this thing looks on here already. It's much bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and do the two bottom ones first because they're the hardest. I am going to have to go get the right Allen head for these screws because some of these aren't lining up or screwing in all the way, I mean. Now the next thing we're going to do is the clutch cover um, guard. So what you have to do is take off your fairings, which this is my second time taking off the fairings on this bike. Um, actually, I took off the left side the first day that I got it. I brought it home and did an oil change on it. Um, and also, a guy in my previous video that I went to that's helping me build this bike told me that can and oil filters put lag in these bikes. So I'm probably going to run a Suzuki filter on my second oil change. Um, this bike still is under 3,000 miles. Um, still practically brand new. So 
after this comes off, this one up here has to come off. Push pins right here. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just take off this full right side. Um, it's one downside of having a new bike. Um, or buying a used new bike because I don't know what the previous person did to this and it's obviously been opened up before to do these flush mounted turn signals. Um, so I need a second to get these push cl clips out. So guys, now that the side is off the bike, there is one thing that I want to do. Um, it does have the secondary, I think, or the primary uh, exhaust valve rattle. Um, just until I get a full system for it. Um, a guy that I ride with, David, he told me that um, there's a way to fix it by tightening it. Um, when I first got the bike, it did scare me because I heard it rattling while I was riding it. And I was kind of like iffy to get it. But I, then again, I thought to myself, like, how would a bike with 3,000 miles already have a rattle? Um, but yeah, this is what it sounds like. So you guys hear that like scratchy rattle sound? Almost sounds as if it has bad clutch plates, but I'm gonna watch a video on how to fix that really quick that he sent me. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this cover on. So guys, what you wanna do, after watching the video, um, basically what happens when the bike is put into gear, this butterfly fluctuates early. Um, and everybody in the comments says that Suzuki should have designed it better. Um, so you take off these three tens to remove this little cover. And the, take a 10 millimeter, it's going to be a 10 or an 11. It's a 10. And tighten this little thing right here. Using one hand to support the cable, use your other hand to tighten the cable using the nut below the bracket. You'll using one so. hand to support the cable, use your other hand to tighten the cable using the nut below the bracket. You will turn the nut below the bracket several turns until it is tight against a lock nut on the top. The exhaust rattle as much as I did before. I still have a very minor sound of it, but until I get a full exhaust system for this bike, this is where I'm gonna be at. So guys, now I'm installing the cover. So guys, now I'm going to put the side fairings back on.
So guys, I did make a mistake. Um, this is actually supposed to go on the other side of the bike. So I'm not going to record me doing this because that would be stupid to re-record me taking that apart. But um, let me put this on the other side and I'll check back with you guys in a second. So guys, now what I'm doing is removing the Chrome Suzuki emblem from the bike. Um, this just never been one of the things on Suzuki bikes that I've liked. Um, I'm trying to be very, very careful doing this. In the past, like not on customers' bikes, but my own bikes, I've rushed and I just like ripped these off and scratched the tank. This is probably my second or third bike that is close to new. Um, my first bike actually was another Jixer that I had, but I'm definitely taking my time um, working on this bike, not just drilling in screws and taking stuff apart. Um, primarily, now a heat gun probably would have helped with this to make this coming off a lot easier, but I don't have one. You guys can see, nasty adhesive is on there still, so you take some of this Lucas uh, Slick Mist Fast stuff. This stuff has always worked for me when it came to taking off adhesive. You just get it a little bit wet, then you just take your finger and rub hard and it all comes off. So I have seen a lot of people that roll race or like build their bikes to be lightweight but still want a phone mount use the quad lock wall mount. Um, just the position on this bike wasn't good for this so I am going to be using my stem mount that I've had on probably the last four bikes. Um, that's one thing about me when I sell a bike um, I don't <laughs> leave everything on it that's why I keep all my stock parts so like if I ever go to sell this bike you know years from now um, I'm taking off the engine covers I'm taking off you know, God so guys this is the piece of the quad lock that I have left um, I didn't realize when I sold the BMW S1000RR that the other pieces for this was still on that bike um, I was able luckily to record um, me selling that bike and post a video for you guys to see um, and if you guys like that video, I'm hopefully able to make more videos like that, buying bikes and traveling. Um, but yeah, so this is what I was left with. I was able to order the replacement parts that I need from Quadlock. Um, I have a vibration dampener on this because the myth about your phone camera breaking on the bike is true. I know friends that have broken their phone cameras on the bike. Um, in the beginning of the video, you guys seen a FedEx truck. Um, I was hoping that he was dropping off the quad lock but he wasn't so um yeah i'm gonna put the bike in the garage um and uh, wait for the rest of the quad lock to come and that's gonna be the last thing for today's upgrades so guys it is later on in the day um unfortunately it did pour rain but i did get the mirror block off plates in the mail today i wasn't expecting these to come in today but because i'm making this video i'm gonna go ahead and install them um, they just sit on there like that to kind of block off um, the mirrors or where the mirrors would go. Um, I'm unsure if these are actually going to fit though because it comes with like this weird screws, short screws, and you have to put washers behind them. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, put these on the bike as well. Now guys, it's time to do the quad lock. Um, what you have to do first is unscrew this screw out of here. Actually, it's going to be a little hard to do this, but I had to order. This is the replacement part that I had to order. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Um, this goes in your stem, and then whenever you tighten it, it expands and locks the mount into your stem. Um, sorry if you guys hear popping in the background. There's somebody doing fireworks at 8 o'clock on a Tuesday in my neighborhood. But um, just push this down in here like this. Um, then you take your Allen key. You push this in this hole like that. That should sit 
all the way in there. Then you take the uh, like little silver clip piece. You set it on here like this so that these lock into position. Um, actually, this screw is supposed to sit down a lot more. For some reason, I hope I don't have to purchase a whole new mount. But for some reason, it doesn't want to sit there. So that's all the way down. Um, then you take the screw, like I said, you set it on here. It sits in these grooves um, like this. Should look something like that. Then I had to order the replacement push screw for the bottom so that whenever you tighten this, it tightens around this and then these expand. Um, actually, I gotta loosen this up for a second because I did it, I put it on the wrong way. So there's grooves on this little black piece that sit on the grooves in here. And then whenever you tighten this, it should make this expand. Um, give me one second. Set this on here like this and screw this in here. And then these should go into their positions like this on both sides. You set this in the stem. And then when you screw this, it should tighten everything up. And it's not, the whole thing's just spinning. So I think you might have to hold it down until it gets about snug. Then you set it in there. Then you tighten it. And it's doing the same thing. So this makes these expand. Then you set this in here. Then you tighten this till it goes in that way. And then as you tighten this, the little things in the inside expand. You don't want to over tighten this either. Um, Cause they are a pain in the ass to get out afterwards. Try to just make it as like straight as possible. As you guys can see. Oh damn, the camera wasn't focused. Then after you get that, take this little black rubber piece. This goes in here to clip this on. You just gotta push down really hard. <clears throat> For some reason this isn't going on. So give me one second. The mosquitoes are going crazy right now. So you push that in. You take this. Unscrew this. Set this in here. Like so. You have to really push this sucker down. Um, let's see if I can get it. There. That should be all the way down. Just gotta push this through here. Grab your Allen key. Screw this in.
there you go and then to replace the uh, blue lever because I did order a red one just want to unscrew the quad lock head this piece should come off um, take the screw out the whole head of it should come out then the blue piece should just pop forward there's a little metal pin in here you got to move that pin out like this then this just unclips as you guys can see get the red one and this like dark red that quad lock sells matches the red of my bike so I like it this pops in here take the little metal piece again set it in there that's your spring mechanism take the top of the quad lock again feed it through there's grooves for everything to line up set it on the head again and screw it down And uh, yeah, let's set my phone on it and see what it does. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now it's my turn to be in front of the camera. If you guys like the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as share it with your friends and family. I would greatly appreciate it. As well as comment below what type of videos you guys would like to see in the future. Again, this helps me make content that you guys like watching. I had an amazing time upgrading my bike today. Always remember guys, still City Motorsports, get right or get left. Peace.